Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity and here we are. It's uh, level, oh, wrong, wrong tab. It's level 13 of the Endless Paths of Odd Noor. There ain't many more floors to go we feel. Tension is mounting. Just what are we going to find on the next couple of levels down? We don't know, but to get there we have to go through this level first. And on this level, we are still looking for... ...some things for the Vithrak. A refined Adra crystal and some armour of one of the Adra-laced animats. We have the ancient Ingwithan machine artifact. So one down, two to go. Let's get to stepping. All right then. Now we have three characters that are ready to level up. Skagani is going to be not too far behind. So I was waiting for her to level up really. Level them all up together. Uh, they're all level 12. Fedoran and Adair are level 13 already. Hey. I don't think we need to be high than level 12 really to finish the Endless Paths, so we're in no immediate rush to level up. Okay, we are now facing Adra Beetles. Could be a good sign, which could sense that there is some Adra nearby. Refined Adra, perhaps? Ooh, what's he doing? Just stood there gawking. Hey. Right. We find Adra, anyone? Maybe? Yes. Any hidden goodies, anyone? Very well. A trap? Oh, how close were we to that? Are okay. You imagining that? How close were we to stepping on that? And we can't actually. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's an emerald. Thought that was refined Adra for a short moment. This could be the Animat piece, though. And although this is actually the Adra, the refined Adra indeed. So just the Animat shell to go. All right. Some more emeralds and a scroll of boiling spray. Sounds painful. Oof. Fancy a bit of boiling spray in your face? No thanks. Right. I suppose we'll go down here next. Yes. I will walk unseen. Take our usual sneaky beaky people and see what they can see. We can see Zawa is ready. A trap. Probably. I have done as you asked. I was gonna say probably something we can't open, but we calm down, people. Ah! Ah! Sagani, good job. Supposed to stay behind the man that's checking for traps, you know? Now she's concussed. I don't know. He got bloody beaver. Yes. A large ornate in Gwythen door stands before you. To either side rest large crystals, glowing with a faint light. You feel a peculiar change in the air, as if some presence were nearby, yet there is nobody to be seen. You hear a whisper emerging as from thin air, from the general direction of the door. It grows in both volume and number, many voices speaking quietly. In moments it has become a chaotic hiss of voices, each vying to be heard, but as you listen the voices begin to settle into a cadence and then into words, a phrase spoken by many at once. Beneath stone and weight of years rests one who would slay death. Who comes to wake him? 
Uh, nobody comes to wake him right now. They can probably hear the chattering round the corner, hey. rushing round, Fedora ordering, uh, just wait for me before you get to important yeah. situations. Uh, let me examine the door whilst the rest of you continue on so your explorations. Very well. If anybody's going to open the door, it's good old Fedora, isn't it? <laughs> Can't have Zawa opening it. A door that speaks to you. A door that seems to be guarding something extremely, extremely important. Can't have a random Joe, a random monk. Open it up. I've got another Adram Animat here. Okay, we'll come down this side. I hear something. Another. Oh, this is an Animat. Rather than Adra Animat. Interesting. There seems to be some more hidden areas down there. Okay. Fedoran is, uh, yeah, well, 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 yes, yes, obviously something important lies beyond the door, but uh, All right, then. let's just clear the rest of this level, he says, before we hey. take on whatever's inside. And what does the flame reveal? It reveals Adra Animats. <laughs> Get out of it. Wait! I've lost my notes! No, 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 wait, wait. They're in my pocket. Okay, so Blade of the Endless Paths, then. We got that in the last session, right? I've just remembering now, or was the session before last, one or the other. And uh, yeah, Karma apparently could actually make good use of this. So he's not currently, um, he's, he's ranged at the moment, but he can quite easily be switched to, uh, to, to a melee fighter. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll give him the Blade of the Endless Pass once we have actually cleared the Endless Pass. As a kind of gift, really, because he's, was. Well, the one that had the quest down here, he seems to be quite interested in the in the in the lore of the place, so it seems fitting that he should have it. And then we might deck him out in some slightly heavier armor than this, uh, and turn him into a bit of a melee fighter. So we'll have three up front melees and, and three ranged for a for a slightly balanced party. But he can switch it just as easily to, to, to ranged attacks if need be. Following your lead. Bit of a burst, versatile character, uh, which is uh, pretty useful. Hey, going forward. Yes. Because it's a shame not to use I'm on the, trail. the Blade of the Endless well. Pass when we've, uh, when we've got it all crafted together. And it wasn't easy work getting it. So it'd be a shame to just have it lying in our pack, gathering dust, effectively. That Adra Animat um, times a few and a broken machine thing. All right. Hey. Tank him in the door as per usual. Don't want to be surrounded now, do we? Hello. My bow's ready. Want to come and play? Of course you do. Uh, quickly, I'm here. we have mm, not just Animats here, we do have those pesky screaming things, the cane wheelers. This is important. They are, they do cause uh, some status that I can't remember. I think, is it paralysation? I think it might be. Protection? Okay, next. And she's on our side now. Not for long. Turn and face. Hey. 
and attack. And just because we can, let's summon forth so a Drake. About there. There he is. Right, off you go. Good job, folks. Good job. Hey. All right then. Still looking for that uh, that 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 uh, Andre Animat piece of armor. Where for art thou? Zawa is. Oh right. Uh, strange. I hit the uh, the Windows key instead of the Alt key when I was trying to sneak and tapped out of the game and the recording crashed. But thankfully, I don't think I've lost the first lot of footage. Yes. So all you guys will notice is a little bit of a jump. As you say. As we continue on. Adraban, right of the Untamed Wild. Camping supplies and some more stuff. We could actually rest just to get rid of Sagani's ailments, I suppose, before we go down another level. So let's just remember where we uh, where we can find some camping hey. supplies. As you say. As you say. <laughs> at Zawa. He loves a good fight, doesn't he? Just charges in like a maniac. Ask questions later. Take me to the action, he says. Take me. Zawa is ready. Not a sound. Ooh, we have a spirit that appears to be interactable. Oh, What's trap. this? Oh. Ready when you are. Wait a second. Ready when you are. Wait just a second here. This hazy figure is tall and heavily built, and its shifting, indistinct face is turned toward the floor as if it were deep in thought. You hear a faint murmuring in the rolling cadence of prayer. From time to time, the spirit seems to sway in place. As you approach, the spirit raises his voice, and you recognise the familiar sounds of the Enguithan tongue. And no more shall soul splinter upon the wheel. Hear me, great father. I am pledged against your foes, and the greatest of these is death. Keep listening. The spirit turns its face towards you in a swift motion. For a moment, its features blur, and then resolve into what appears to be a man's visage. Its eyes fixed upon you. You are late. Uh, for what? They will be here soon, to cast us down, to unmake our work. It is nearly too late. Uh, to... Uh, work? He nods. If they knew, perhaps they would understand. If they heard the sisters speak. In foreign lands they leave their madmen to suffer alone, or else cast these same out from their sight. Meanwhile, we have carved ourselves like smooth stones, polished the virtues within us while flensing away the weakness. Is that not just? Is that not kin kinder than anything that came before? He shifts, standing straighter. Are you ready? He raises his hand, and you think you see the glint of metal through a second glance reveals nothing. We have placed your crest upon the animat alongside my own. The animats? You're going to sacrifice yourself? Those of faith remain, and we are children of the wheel. Death is not for us. Spirit gaze slides away from you as it departs. Even as you move away, he reaches out an arm for someone else, smiling. Hmm. Zawa is ready. Right, we're going to have to go round. Just say the word. Oh, shoot. 
Well, that's the Adra Fra that's an Adra Fragment. Level up the Master's Tools. Do we have them all? Yes, we do. Phew. Hey. Good old Fedora's nimble feet saved him there. Yes. I'm here. I will walk unseen. Ooh. Ooh, quite a few of these things. They make such an awful sound, don't they? Absolutely flipping awful. Right, good. Into position! 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 Aye, aye, aye! How many of these creatures are there? Bloody Nora! Ooh, we're getting surrounded. Right, uh, let's start with our protection against their paralysis. There we go. Right, let's just take him down one at a time. Okay, that went smoothly. Hey. It's a lot easier when you're not petrified. Zawa is ready. Not a sound. Another spirit. And you just heard the faint mewling of Ginger the cat in the background there. Obviously having a whale of a time. Unlike us. Hey. What is this? We do not know. Just say the word. Hidden door. A hazy form stands before you. From time to time the blurring features resolve into what you take to be an elven man. I can't do this anymore. How am I going to explain? How can we possibly give him what he wants? The spirit squeaks in quick hushed bursts of Ingwithan and shakes its head as if to answer his own questions. He's going to kill me. He's killed so many. Why should he stop here? Who are you? He has brought so many people down here. I, I hear such terrible things from the upper floors. Even here, these these constructs, I can't sleep. His voice lowers. I think sometimes that I will wake and find myself inside one of the animats. Will I even know? Will it not be like waking one day to find myself blind and mute? What are you doing here? I'm... I'm hiding. I passed by one of the machines and I suddenly... I couldn't breathe. I was thinking about the work we've done, the things we've seen, how even small deeds can scar the soul. Is mine so ragged? Will old Noah's son be grateful when we have torn him from the re from his rest? What does he want? The figure paces a few steps, raising his hands to his temples. What we cannot give him, even after all this time. There is so much we do not know. He wants his son, the boy he knew, whole and preserved, returned to him. But people... Souls that they don't always remember. Who's to say his son will remember being his son at all? Remember his father's face? I... I have seen mothers forget their children. Are you all... still loyal to Odd Nua? Well, of course. I'm a devoted servant. His voice goes high with terror. I didn't mean... Please, I never meant that I would ever renounce my oaths. Uh, do you know a uh, way past the speaking door? I... Uh, I know the oath, of course. We speak it every day. I am servant to Odd Nua. My sword arm is pledged against his enemies. My soul is sworn to his purpose. Sworn. Well, we have hey. the code. Of course. Uh, we can't seem to activate this. I will walk unseen. This is this is either the this is probably maybe an egg possible exit from the there maybe or is there a hidden switch that opens this? Uh, 
I know not, but we shall find out maybe when we go through the speaking door, perhaps. There's certainly nothing opening that at the moment, but if we can't, if we explore the entirety of this level and that's still left like that, then we may come back and have another, uh, another further look. But for now, we've kind of done this side. Ended there. We just have just down here to go. Couple of animats, Adra Beetle. Okay, more than a couple, a few. Kind of caught me by surprise! Oh my golly gosh! Come on, one at a time please, one at a time. No need to rush. We'll all die very shortly. Next! Okay, next! Leave it to me! Alright. Commotion over. Oh, on the, oh, 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 oh! Wait a second, we have more uh, visitors. Alright then. Ready when you are. Come help me here. The spirit holds his hands just above the shattered machine, poised as if to pull on some unseen component. Brace there, and we will be rid of this one. Each word seems to resolve itself in your mind an instant after it's spoken, as you recall the Ingwithan tongue. He waits a moment, evidently for someone to take up position. Pull hard, now. There, he tags back, wiping his brow. These machines, to think how many souls have felt their touch. How many of those willing, I wonder? What's happened here? Do not worry. With Odnua slain, the rest have shown their true colours. Most have fled, some scattered into the tunnels of the falls. Come, they've already started sealing the upper floors. We'll be the last out at this rate. Doiros means to work some spell upon that door, using Odnua's servants against him. Well, what kind of spell? He cannot unmake the door entirely, but he can change its purpose. The oath, you see. If Odnoa's servants are pledged to his defence, then we shall pledge ourselves to his destruction. The man gives you a fierce grin, turning away, and from one step to another he has faded, only to appear once more beside the machine. Hmm. Hey. Alrighty, so what we'll do is we shall go up to the Vithrak, hand in what we have collected for them, come back down here, uh, rest... was it here? Somewhere where there was uh, some camping supplies going spare. We'll rest there, get Sagani back to full health. Then we'll come to the speaking door, go through it, see what lies beyond. And that might be the end of the session there. Hey. Coming through, coming. Okay, and I did the uh, Vithrak voices last time, and I cannot remember for the life of me what the hell kind of voice I, I put on. So, so, it lives and it stinks of dust and old souls. Does it have adrenaline wants? Yes, yes, I have the samples. Please step aside. I'm going to give them to your leader. Nay, Ligra! He steps forward, claws outstretched. Give us what Charak demands. This is not for an outsider. A crawling worm amongst giants? It hisses. Give it here! Uh, I don't think so. Listen to me. You think you frightened me? For Doran getting a bit bold here. You think you frightened me? Charak asked me to do this because you couldn't. You feel a sudden pulsing wave of anger from the Vithrak. It is so clever, tongue the trespasser. I will feed it to the spiders. Let them drain the juice from its eyes. What does it know of the endless paths? The Vithrak growls. It walks them but a little while. It growls. It uses trickery to pass the Adramen. 
trickery. Are you certain you want to do this? For Doran's saying, as he's sort of encouraging Adair to just raise his sword a little bit. <laughs> he's obviously stood at the very back of this <laughs> uh, party whilst he's speaking from a distance. If Ifrak studies you for a long, silent moment, black eyes gleaming at last, it lets out a rattling hiss frustrated. I name it poorly. It is pestilence, not trespasser. Go then, take these things to Jarek. It's a vile thing, and I do not wish to look at it. It has its victory. When the endless pass swallows it up in darkness, I have mine. Yeah, yeah. back down, Sonny Jim, back down. Phew. <laughs> For Doran, uh, not wanting to appear in, in, uh, after he's got out of view of these creatures, hey. just sort of mopping his brow there. Whew, that was close. Could have been a hairy moment. Not that we would have, of course, fallen to them. No, don't be foolish. Right, I think we better save it. Ready when you are. Tarek greets you, human animal. It has been below. It has what we seek. Yes. But before I hand it over, your scouts almost ambushed me here. You feel phantom fingers tracing your thoughts. Charek sees. I is sorry for what Kestrick does. Charek speaks to scouts, explains. He's not harming human animal. Here. Charek gives this. Is making peace, yes? Hmm, okay, giving us something. Don't know what it is, but fine. Okay, have the address samples. You feel another passing itch in your skull and then a rippling echo of joy. Then we thrack oh, a great debt. With these we study their master secrets. We make statues greater than old dead master of hollow place. Statues that will gleam like the sea. <laughs> Vithrak, thank you. It's having coin. It's custom, yes. Vithrak, have coins of many ages. We'll give many. He thinks for a moment. If human animal goes still into the deep places, should talk to Krivi. Krivi has supplies. Will help. Tarek is giving this also. Found in tunnels and does not suit Vithrak. Keeps humans safe, yes? Will bring fortune. Okay. Drawn in spring. Yes. Well, uh, glad to help. Vithrak, remember. Long after sun falls into sea. This is start of something. New turn of the wheel. Charik turns towards the nests lining the wall. Young will live in better place. And so... We've done our deed. Oh, he's given... Oh, there he goes, a sword. A, a, a dagger, in fact. Drawn in spring. Look at the accuracy. Superb craftsmanship. Sagani has a dagger in one of her offhands, doesn't she? Oh, it's a, it's a, a stiletto. This is surely better doesn't do the damage bypass but well better accuracy DOT which would work very well with uh, Itumak um, yeah I like that I'm gonna give that to her yes yes very good nice nice alrighty then now, apparently, somebody we can use somebody uh, as a shop. Hey, Krivi. Is Krivi the one over here? Yes. Hey. Yeah, supplies. Let's have a look. Ooh, exceptional stuff. Ooh, I'm kind of in interested. About an exceptional robe, mainly for um, for, for Durance, because he has on. Let me compare it. There you go, Durance's robe. So better damage resistance, but uh, Durance has Constitution. But I think I did that myself, so we could put that on this one. Not a problem. Also has damage reduction against burn. I think. That came naturally with his robes because he's a priest of Magrum, but we could actually 
do that ourselves as well by enchanting this. I'm thinking that we should probably get this for Durance, enchant it with constitution, with extra... We don't even need the burning reduction, to be honest. We can put our, our own different reduction on it, uh, and it'll end up being a, a better robe. Plus, he's been running around with those dirty robes for some time now. It's better that he's had a bit of an upgrade, make him look a bit more presentable when we're chatting with noble types. So, yeah, we'll go for the exceptional robe. Um, the gems are great for crafting. And some of these gems are pretty nifty and rare. So we'll go for all the gems. And then we've got an absolute crap ton of stuff to sell. So we'll, we'll kind of get rid of some of these whilst we're here. Right. We'll get rid of all the non-enchanted stuff at this point. Get rid of some of the repeats. How many fine plates we've got? All right. And where's all the weaponry? Get rid of all the crappy weaponry. That's all of them. All right. Some of the repeat stuff. As if we're ever going to use any of these weapons, really. Probably apart from the maybe the unique ones. But you know what? You just never know. You just never know. Righty ho. Mace there on repeat. What's all that? Okay, it's not a bad trade. Nine hundred and sixty-eight. We'll take it. Okay. Hey, Durance. Hmm. I know you're fond of your tatty old robes, but I think it's about time you uh, just raise the level a bit in terms of your overall look. Look at that. Look at that. What a difference new threads can make. You look half decent. Yes, right. Good. Enchantment time. So we can... Uh, it's already exceptional quality. So we can give it constitution plus two, which is uh, quite good for him because he's a priest, want him to stay up as long as possible. So we'll go for the same again. Uh, and we could also give it extra proofing, burn proof, which would have been what he had on his original. We could go for something else if we were so inclined to do so. They're all fairly situational, aren't they? Other than maybe crush or slash, if people get in close, uh, could be probably most useful, but I think what we'll do is we'll probably just leave that off for the time being. Um, if we ever get to a tough fight that uses a particular uh, form of damage, we might enchant it just for a particular fight near the end game, possibly. But I think this is going to be the robes, or these are going to be the robes that Durance wears, unless we get any sort of uh, unique ones uh, for the rest of this game. So, yeah, pretty cool. Looking good. Looking good. All right. It's hard to determine whether or not he would be happy with the change of attire. <laughs> Knowing him as we do, probably not so happy. <laughs> Oops. I don't know why these are in Sagani's inventory. Anyway. Okay. Hey. So we're going to go back down. Have a bit of a kip and see what lies beyond that door. The door is giving a. Uh, Hey. Sado's glance at Kesterik, pulling a bit of a face. Of course. Need to try and find the uh, camping supplies again. I think they were here. Mm. 
Indeed there were. So we shall rest. I don't know what. We'll just go with damage reduction. So we don't know what we're going to be facing. Hey. Now hey. the supplies. And we're golden. Okay, Fedoran. Say the word. <clears throat> sort of pushing his way past here. Okay, I, yeah, it's a bit just. Uh, uh, the, 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 the voices return. I am servant to Odnua. My sword arm is pledged against his enemies. My soul is sworn to his purpose. But didn't the other spirits say that they've twisted the door against Odnua? I think the, the yeah, this is the what used to open it, but I think they said they twisted it. Yeah, I, I am enemy to Odnua. My sword arm is pledged against his followers. My soul is sworn to this purpose. I think, I think we got it right. I think he got it right. Yeah, well done for Doran. Bloody hell, fire, he's getting better. It's getting better as time goes on. Okay. Yeah, the second spirit was talking about twisting the door, so it was the opposite of what it was supposed to be. Good job for Doran. Yes, that does not hurt, but it does tickle, which does not help me. Right. Very well. What exactly is this? The Guardian of Odd Nua. Oh boy. Very well. Oh uh, buggeration. Ready, watcher. Right, well we're gonna see. Oh oh Adragan. Adra Anima. These are enemies, there's probably no way to get them friendly here. Um, tanking in the doorway, maybe? Oh, there's some of those creatures, some of those in... Oh my golly gosh, Adragan, Adra Anima. This is going to be tough. We need to tank these things in the doorway. We cannot afford to become... Uh, Surrounded. Hey. Let's hope that they come out that far. There's no talking to them, so. Hey. Keeping an eye out. Zawa is ready. Now, Zawa's the quickest, so he is going to. Um, Very well. Trigger the fight. Save it again. Immune to charm, confused, disease, the usual thing that constructs are immune to. Not a problem. Right, stand our ground. Let's not get excited. Let's not get giddy. Now let's fight. Oh boy, oh boy, the Guardian. Who goes down first? The Guardian? Right, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to throw out with Fedora and some of this. Uh, throw out one of these. Cold damage, AO, uh, AOE attack, and I think what we'll do is we'll just throw out some armor just in case, and, some, and maybe a blessing, some of the lower level stuff. Once we get an ability to cast some summons, we'll put them in behind just to do, just to distract. But I think we should be fine. Ready when you are. And actually, before we do that, I just make sure we get immune to any sort of paralyzation from the uh, from the Gwillers. Oh my, wind blights have just come forth. Okay, that's not a panic. Right, ogres. Get them in behind. 
The Guardian is going down. Okay, let's just keep going. Blessings upon your houses. is looking pretty tough. Adra Anima is going down. Who's that? Ituma. Right, you keep going. Right, we need to just turn on the wind blight actually. So we'll just all focus on the wind blight. It's behind us. We've lost an ogre. That's fine. And then we'll just maybe pop off some of the, the ads. Right, Guardian is proving quite tough. So let, let, let the tanks just tank the Guardian. We'll go for Swiss strikes here. I dare maybe try and knock down. Doesn't say he's immune to knock down, so we'll try and knock him down if we can. And uh, we'll start throwing out some slickens, maybe. Let's try that. Okay, okay so slicken works. That's good. Do we need any beetles? I don't suppose they can. I don't think it can harm. Beetles? Just throw them out there. Right, Adra Animas, let's get on the ads. Apart from you two, you keep on the big boss man. Where's he gone? Where did he go? Where did he go? We're paralysed. Right, here we go again. Let's just uh, unparalyze us. Okay, and more ogres, I think, are required here. Uh, that's fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> hey. The guardian fell. The guardian fell. I don't even remember. I don't even recall him falling. I, I know the moment that we kind of he fell because it freed up room for us to get round him. But okay. I, woman, he had full health. That's me. We were dead. The Adragan was obviously healing him. Edge of reason. Sagani, my dear, didn't you have uh, an axe on your uh, on your person as an as, a, as an alternative weapon? You have a hatchet here. Just uh, let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. I mean, this has got to be better, hasn't it? Eighteen to twenty-six crit multiplier. Uh, damage restored as endurance, accuracy, damage, it's, it doesn't have, again it doesn't have the damage bypass, but you know what? We've got to equip these, these, these weapons, we've got to equip them man, these are, these are some uh, decent things. Out of the endless pass, let's put that on now for him. Uh, but he's not going to wield, not going to gonna wield it just yet. Hey. So down goes the Guardian. And his own little throne and everything. Yes. As you say. Ooh, an Adragan that's just uh, kind of left all on its lonesome. Did you not notice everybody having a big ruckus? Obviously not. Fedora's so tempted to sit in the throne. Oh, shoot. It's fine. Zawa has this. I'm going to punch the thing to death with my fists of fury. You almost did, actually. 
he does some for a tank he does some serious damage like Adair's a very good tank probably a better tank in terms of taking the damage hey but I think in terms of actually tanking and dealing damage he does far more damage than Adair does hey right this door here right the steps go down which means that this door here there's got to be a way through it there's a way through this door and it doesn't obviously involve these stairs I'm gonna have one last look here because it's gonna bug me otherwise so we'll come back I mean unless it's an alternative way from a, from a different floor I don't know possibly To me, I'll take a look. Unless um, Zawa's not high enough level to yes. to spot a switch or something. That thing's not opening it. Nothing on here. Very, very strange. Now that there was a, uh, this is going way, way back, but way, way, way back when we first came across Fedoran's Keep, Mayerwald. We could talk to Mayerwald, and at the very end, we could choose to sacrifice him, uh, free him, and or gain his knowledge, or whatever it was. There were three choices. Fedoran, I think. Kept him as a guardian, did he? But one of the options was to gain his knowledge. Uh, we didn't do that, but I watched a playthrough of somebody uh, who did. I say watched a playthrough, I haven't watched the whole thing, I watched the first handful of parts or whatever uh, at the time. And the knowledge that he imparted was something to do with the keep and something to do with the table. There was a, I can't remember the quote. But there was a table or something like a, t and there was a secret room off this 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 area. Uh, I may look back upon that and see what exactly what it said, but it was something to do with a. Uh, it seemed to be like a gathering or a, a room where there's a table and people were gathered around this table or whatever, and there was a secret door or a secret okay. room within that particular area. Now this doesn't quite look like a table, but. I got a feeling it's possibly on the next level down or even level 15 itself. But I'll, I'll, before the next session starts, A, I'll level up my characters, and B, I'll check out exactly what that quote was. Little bell, yeah. Technically speaking, should we know what the quote says? Because Fedora didn't choose that option. But now that I know what it, now that I know, <laughs> know there's information out there to assist, it'd be a shame not to utilise it. Okay, so we are done on level 14. No, we're not. We're done on level 13. We're going down to level 14. And we'll go down now just to get a very quick sneaky peek. But we're not going to complete the level okay. or even start the level until the next session. But just out of interest's sake, just what does it look like? It looks like most of the other levels, it's actually not that big of an area. But no, I'm going to resist the temptation. I am tempted to continue on, but I will resist the temptation and end the session here. So join me in the next one when we will continue on and explore level 14. Until then, yes. oh, see you soon. Dirty hell, even my characters are eager. Just chill out next time.